Okay, so this is the, the genetics, and we won't make it too complicated, but autosomal recessive, so every gene has uh, two copies, one from mom and one from dad, and in an autosomal recessive, you'll have four possibilities by Mendelian genetics. You'll have the possibility of having an affected child, meaning they get both copies of the uh, mutated gene. You can then have um, carrier states, and this will occur in, in two of the four on average, and then uh, one of the four will be un unaffected. So again, the, the disease is relatively rare, about one in 20,000, but the, the carrier state is actually pretty common, about one in 70. The risk, again, if you have one child in your family with ARPKD, the risk of having a second one is, is 25%, and the risk to their siblings, uh, unaffected siblings, harbor a two-thirds risk of being a carrier for ARPKD. So that's that's the kind of the genetics in a nutshell. So again, it's um, ARPKD is caused by mutation in this gene called PKHD1, which stands for polycystic kidney and hepatic disease one. Um, the gene is found on chromosome six. It's a very large protein, about 4,000 amino acids, over 66 exons. And in totality, we don't know what it does. We know it localizes to the primary cilia and basal body, which is the same location as the PKD1 genes and the genes that cause things like Joubert and, and Bardet beetle, the syndromic uh, recessive diseases. Um, and we do know that there's a very clear genotype phenotype correlation in regards to the severity of the disease. So there, there's actually been about 700 different mutations in PKHD1 that have been shown. But basically, there's two types of mutations you can get. So a mutation can cause a stop codon to occur. And in that case, you get a truncated and usually um, non-functional protein. And those are the very severe cases. Sometimes you get a mutation and it just changes the amino acid, which will change the function of the protein, but not completely obliterate the function of the protein. And those are called missense mutations. So about 40% of PKHD1 mutations are predicted to be truncating, 60% missense. The missense are the ones that are, are going to have the less severe disease. And the two truncating mutations, if you happen to get that, will always cause um, a severe uh, phenotype and neonatal death. 